Hey, Jerry up church here. Want to get a note out to you today. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, put a video on my blog and um, posted one, but um, it's time to get back. It's 2017, and we got to get ready to go. Um, I tell you, last week, a week ago, uh, two weeks ago, I guess, our, I went. We went to church, and our pastor was talking about, um, you know challenging us to complete our goals the or the um, you know the resolutions that we've set up to accomplish in 2017 considered to be goals so uh, one of the things he did was he went through a series of um, challenges and what I wanted to do is just sort of take you one by one through the challenges over the next two or three weeks or days or whatever the time frame might be but uh, the first week he was talking about the word push, P-U-S-H, push. And he committed, he said, I want to double dog dare you to push to completion on your objectives and goals for 2017. I want you to complete them. And I want to give you a couple of tips on how to uh, make sure you do that by giving you some tips on, on the push attitude. And a double dog dare you, double dog dare you to put these uh, three traits into action, three three um, tasks into action for you to be successful with your 2017 plan. So, so after I heard that, I said, okay, I want to tell the world about that. So I want to put that on a a blog and on facebook and on youtube so that other people will get all the advantages of what we've just learned so so basically he said i want to double dog dare you to stretch yourself to achieve your goals and you know we've all heard uh, i dare you to do this and what that is is it just sort of challenges you to accomplish something or do something maybe it's to jump a ditch i dare you to jump over that ditch and maybe if they don't do that if they don't want to jump over that ditch the challenger will say i double dog dare you to jump it so that throws a little more uh ante into the pot there to get you to encourage you to do that i double dog dare you to jump that ditch you have that tendency that you want to get out and try to jump that ditch so so what he's basically telling us here is he wants to double dog dare us to accomplish our goals. And three things that he was talking about in that service was he said, I want you, number one, to commit to your goal. Commit to your goal. One way to commit to those goals and those resolutions is declare it publicly. So that made me think, okay, this is a good thing for network marketers to do and a good thing for internet marketers to do declare publicly what you want to achieve in 2017 maybe you want to declare something by the end of june or july in 2017 maybe you want to declare something to be completed and successful in december of 2017 but declare write it down declare it that you are actually going to accomplish that task or those tasks that you're committed to for 2017. number two and this is critical, is to invite others in. Invite others in. Now that to me just sort of uh, brought that double dog dare to reality because if you bring somebody else into your uh, achieving your goals, then that's going to make you work twice as hard to accomplish that. And, and what uh, the scripture says in Ecclesiastes is that two are better than one because if one falls down the other can pick him up so that's specifically related to your tasks that you want to complete and the goals you want to complete in 2017 because if you tell somebody about it you declare it publicly and if you invite someone in to help you achieve it and they're willing to do that then you increase your chances of achieving that goal by a factor of 10. You have 10 x your possibility of achieving that goal because some days you may not feel like going to the gym and if you've got that goal to lose weight 
then that other person that you've invited in is going to say, hey, man, you, we said we were going to meet at 6 o'clock every morning. Where are you? So you'll get up and trot down there to that gym and get that work done. The third thing that you want to do, the first thing was to declare it, to, to uh, make it public that it, of what your goal is. Number two is to invite somebody else in. And number three is to commit committed training, committed uh, or controlled training, controlled actions to bring about that goal. Now, by controlled, it means that you're not trying something because you can try something, be successful at trying and then quit. But controlled action means that you're going to go, you've got a schedule that you're going to work. Six o'clock in the morning, three days a week, you go to the gym or, or whatever that controlled action is, is you uh, are committed to that goal. You're committed, you're consistent, and you're thorough on those, on those goals and those actions, that controlled actions and controlled training that you're going to do to achieve those goals. So I've got some more in about this in my blog. So um, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, look at the link below. It'll point you to the blog. If you're doing it on Facebook, then look at the link above and it'll show you how to get to the blog. And read the blog. Give me some feedback. Give me some comments on what you think and what your goals are. How about declaring your goals on our blog here today and let me know what they are so then I can call and support you and and uh, help you to obtain those goals for 2017. All that being said, hey, be blessed. It's a great year. Bye.